you are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, we'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it.
Where are they keeping the Huggy Boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? No. Exactly! Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track.
final line in relation experiment 1006, the prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... in my case. Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time?
Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Now, how is that fun? 
Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit.
know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. ...using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correct Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Red. 
name called Trivet by Trivet.
fantastic! Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Waggo Wuggy! Head downstairs and have fun! Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. another hint for you.
the button to feed me candy. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate. And some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I have a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight.
like these before. You're so good. Seems like you're ready for the final game, statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me Mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left Mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone,
Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, of... Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs.
Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log.
I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. We will. What if... Hello, you must be our new employee. Well, gee, welcome, come on in. I bet you're super excited to start having fun, making fun for kids around the world. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going there, buddy? <laughs> Look, I know it's exciting, but before we can get you up there on the factory floor, we've got to talk about safety, huh? That's right, because my pal Huggy says that fun is just one part of fundamentally understanding the need for awareness, cleanliness, timeliness, obedience, and regulating yourselves. So, come on, let's get started. Rule number one. Always be sure to wash your hands before you enter the factory floor. Grubby hands mean grubby toys. And at Playtime Co, we like our toys nice and clean. Huggy gets it. Now, rule number two. Everybody's excited to get home after a hard day's fun, but you must never leave your station for any reason before the bell rings. Not without permission from a supervisor. And there will be no overtime. <sighs> rule number three. Fun takes focus. No distractions. When on the factory floor, please try to remain as quiet as possible. Superfluous auditory impositions on the environment may result in disciplinary action. <sighs> Rule number four. Secrets. I know you'll all want to go and tell all of your friends about the exciting goings on here at Playtime Co. But you know what's even more exciting? Why, the NDA rules laid out in section 3, page 42 of your Playtime Co. employee handbook, of course. The breach of which may result in termination. Whoa there, Huggy. <laughs> Not that kind of termination. <laughs> Rule number five. You must report anybody you see not following these rules to your supervisor. That includes this rule. Anyone observed to not be reporting rule breaking they are currently observing has been observed to be breaking a rule and should be reported immediately. Quickly, before somebody reports you. Rule number six. Smile, you're on camera. For your safety, we keep a watchful eye on everybody here at Playtime Co. Any attempt to interfere with Playtime Co surveillance equipment will result in immediate termination. And speaking of Playtime Co equipment, 
How about those grab packs, eh? Rule number seven. Our handy helpers may seem fun, but not everything in a toy factory is a toy. Always be sure to exercise caution when operating your grab pack around heavy machinery, or else you might end up in a tangle. Ugh. Serious injury, death, or dismemberment may occur. If you're experiencing hallucinations or symptoms of schizophrenia, you must report to your on-duty playtime physician right away. Reports of noxious and or hazardous materials used in the production of our toys are both entirely fabricated and highly exaggerated. So if you're feeling under the weather, try drinking some water or breathing less deeply. Employers are liable for the safety of themselves and those around them. Playtime Co. will not be held accountable for accidents, injuries, trauma, physical or mental or resulting life-altering impairments up to and including death. Rule number nine. Employees are explicitly prohibited from entering restricted areas. Authorization is given on a case-by-case -case basis, and employees enter at their own risk. No ifs, ands, or buts. Rule number 10. Don't forget to have fun! Working together to bring joy to children around the world here at Playtime Co. is a privilege. We just know that if you follow these 10 simple rules, you'll be a great addition to the Playtime family. We all start here, on the factory floor, but we can't wait to see what you become. Good luck on your first day. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Huggy. Goodbye! Oh, I'm on. Oh, hello, Mr. Pierre. Um, look, I know you don't want to hear any more about this. I get it. Um, sounds like a bad joke, huggy wuggy staring at children. But look, I'm filming this so so I can hopefully prove what I saw. Look, if some if some creep is hiding nanny cams in our mascot's eyeballs, then it's something that needs to be taken seriously. You know, something dangerous is going on, and I, I, I'm sure it wasn't on purpose, I'm sure it was just some big mistake, but I saw what I saw, and, and I, I, I'm positive about that, and uh, I know if you could see it too, I think you'll understand. Uh, Mr. Pierre, um, huh, I just want to apologise. I, uh, I was wrong. Nothing weird is, is going on here at all. See, I, um, <clears throat> I talked to the uh, maintenance guy and he admitted that he had not done his due diligence and maintaining Huggy, so his eyes probably just... <sighs> You know, popped out of place. That's uh, that must be what I saw. So um, I'm I'm done. I'm I'm not looking into it anymore. And I mean, not that there was anything to look into in the first place. But uh, you, that's in the past. You won't be uh, you won't be hearing anything else uh, from me. So sorry. I'm scared, and I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna die. I had to pretend I'd seen nothing so the company would leave me alone. They, they took away my pension. They've, they've, they've been writing me up, left and right. Four days ago, somebody, <clears throat> somebody's hampered with my car. One of the tires it, uh, flew off on the interstate. I nearly died. For whoever's watching this, my name is Rowan Stoll. I work for Playtime Co. It's a massive toy company. They made Huggy Wuggy. They've been using all the money they've made to experiment with people. I have proof of it all. Next week, I've scheduled the company's 
the, the servers, there's a security uh, to be shut down for 60 minutes of maintenance. While security is out, I'm going to release everything and run. I think they're going to kill me first. They have something that eats people alive. I don't want to die. I thought Mr. Pierre was just confused, but he's someone else entirely. I could have saved lives. I had access to everything. It's like they knew. It's like they knew I would never question them. That's probably why they hired me in the first place. I'm an idiot. Listen, if I die, I've hidden everything I found on this tape. If you find this, take it to the police. Do not let them get away with this. Goodbye. Hi there, my name's Leif Pierre, and welcome to your job as a resource extraction specialist. Now, first things first, as for your mm, agreement, anything you do, hear, see, etc., is strictly privileged. You're never to share any of your experience here with anyone, in any instance, for any reason. Whether that be your closest buddy, your sister's boyfriend, or in a court of law. In short, just don't go spouting off about this job. Let's get started. Usually we'd have five other guys working with you to speed things up. But for training purposes, it's just you. <clears throat> Here's the job. You need to collect toy parts to make a giant toy. Get that giant toy on the train, then leave. There's a big pillar in front of you with three puzzles on it. When you solve all of the puzzles, the pillar will dispense one of the toy parts needed. Go ahead and get started. In this one, the piano will play a sequence of notes, and you just have to play them back. One down. Okay, these buttons are all gonna flash randomly to generate a code. At the end, it'll settle on a code which will flash three times in a row. Those are the buttons you wanna hit. To complete the puzzle, you'll need to put in two of these codes. Perfect. In this one, the buttons are going to light up randomly. If a button lights up, hit it immediately. Good. 
There's the toy part. There's always a deposit somewhere nearby. Just find it and toss the toy part in there. It'll do the rest. Hold on. Something's not right. See that door with the big orange handle? You should shut that. Quickly! That was close. Yeah, be careful. Those doors don't hold shut for long either. Moving on. Grapple across this pit here. The hooks take a few seconds to recharge, so keep that in mind. All right, here's the machine. This is where all the toy parts you've collected have been going. Now you've got enough for the whole toy. Grab the handles on that pipe there and begin pulling. See, our engineers set up this cool piping system that'll suction the toy straight from this machine right onto the train. You'll have to do this every time you finish making a toy. Uh-oh. Okay, stop. You see that locker behind you? Get inside. Now. Might want to hold your breath so he doesn't hear you. Coast is clear. Get out of the box. Oh yeah. One thing I neglected to mention. The reason we need people like you to get these parts is because these extraction sites aren't exactly... secure. Sharon, I need you to start looking for a new... Johnny? Maggie? Those two are still alive? Well, great. Lucky for you, buddy. With their help, the three of you can survive down there just fine. Probably. I'll send Bill to get you all out. Oh, uh, well, that's one less mention to worry about. Yeah, don't let these toys reach you if you can help it. Just smack them away and, oh, just a fair warning, these guys get more agitated the longer you're here. Fall down here three times and you're dead. Okay, Bill's pulling you out now. You know what? Why don't you go save Johnny? I think he's earned it. Find an open hole, shoot your hand down, and drag him up. Okay, now, finish getting that pipe into place and get out. No time to lose. The piping system sent the toy to the train. Last thing is to get back on the train and leave. with short ceilings like this one slow the monster down. Now make haste. Is that the fastest you can run? Go if you need to. Don't go faster. No train! Put your hand on that panel there with the train symbol on it. That'll call a train to your location. Train should be here shortly. Look, I know it got a little rough out there. If you ever find yourself as the last person standing, we'll send a train to extract you alone. Don't worry! Not gonna come to that, all right.
I'd say that about concludes your training. Remember, complete those puzzles to get the toy parts. Pull that pipe into place, then leave. Simple, right? Get to it. Hush, hush and all that.
They are trying to build more toys, more like you. It has to be stopped. You will see the location of every puzzle pillar. Protect them. Kill everyone in sight. The puzzle has been failed. Go to them. Your prey flees. Catch them. Follow their prints.
My name is Harley Sawyer. I'm called the Doctor. When I look at this company we've built, I do not feel proud. Declining profits, failed experiments, people are constantly seeing things they shouldn't. How is that anything less than complete failure on our part? It's pathetic. Now we're understaffed. Safety protocols are being abandoned. Workplace incidents are common. We can't avoid a lawsuit forever. We need to deal with all of these issues at once. I'm here now with a solution. The Bigger Bodies Initiative. Giant toys. We can increase our workforce and simultaneously decrease the number of lawsuits and people on our payroll if the people we have working aren't people. Put me in charge of it and I will save this company. We've got eyes on 1170. He's uh, heading south along the utility vehicle route. What exactly do we do here? Um, okay, give us a sec. We're gonna try to cut him off at the crossing up ahead. Keep him from getting onto public roads. Keep tailing him for now, and keep us updated.
There is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys are nothing without them. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co. I announce Playcare, our very own on-site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved, never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors.